On July 23, 1993, Shirley Harmon, wondering where her 10-year-old daughter Shakima Cabbagestalk was, called her mother to check and see if her daughter had spent the night with her. When her mother Clara Cabbagestalk told her no, Shirley contacted authorities and reported her daughter missing. According to Clara, the last time she saw Shakima was on July 22, 1993, when she was playing in her front yard. Shakima hasn't been seen since. What is up everyone, welcome back to Great Ace TV, and today I'm going to talk about the disappearance of Shakima Cabbage Stock. Shakima Ann Cabbage Stock disappeared from Dillon, South Carolina on July 22, 1993. She was last seen getting into a vehicle with an initially unidentified man. That man was later identified as Sam Harmon, her stepfather, who claimed that he took Shakima and her brother grocery shopping that day. He allegedly took them to the Turning Point grocery store on South First Avenue. He claims that he left her and her brother at the grocery store, but it is believed that he was the last person to see Shakima before she disappeared. Twelve years later, in August of 2005, prosecutors officially charged Sam Harmon with kidnapping, criminal sexual conduct with a minor, and murder. During their lengthy investigation, police learned that a year prior to her disappearance, Shakima accused her stepfather of touching her inappropriately. Her claims were investigated by the Department of Social Services, but due to the fact that she changed her story several times, and that there was no evidence to prove that anything happened, no charges were filed against Sam Harmon. After being officially charged in 2005, Harmon stayed in jail for three years until October of 2008 when his trial began. And according to some news sources, prosecutors believed Harmon's motivations for committing his crimes against Shakima were due to the molestation accusations that she levied against him. Although prosecutors initially sought the death penalty, they eventually took the criminal sexual conduct charge off the table and pursued a sentence of life in prison. During the trial, Shakima's uncle testified that Harmon told him that he knew how to dispose of a body just weeks before Shakima initially disappeared. Shakima's grandmother, Clara, also testified in court. She talked about the conversation she had with Sam Harmon the day Shakima was reported missing. She said that she asked Harmon where Shakima was and that he replied, I ain't hurt Shakima, I love her just like Shirley do. Which is a really weird thing to say to someone who just asked if he knew where Shakima was. I understand how after she got that answer, she thought that he might have had something to do with her disappearance. Because that's, that's kind of a sketchy thing to say. But the biggest problem with the case that the prosecution put against Sam Harmon was the fact that they were charging him with murder, even though there was no physical evidence that Shakima was killed. Which sounds weird, but again, there was no evidence to prove that he actually hurt Shakima. Honestly, I'm not even sure how they proved that he abducted her, but they did somehow, and at least that's something. He was sentenced to 12 years in prison for that crime, uh, but he did become eligible for parole in 2011. And I wasn't able to find any information on whether he made parole or not and if he got out of prison, but I'm pretty sure it's been 12 years by now, so even if he didn't, he's definitely out of prison by now. Invited. Well, a verdict tonight in a high-profile Dillon County murder trial. Yeah, we've been covering this a lot. Sam Harmon was on trial, accused of kidnapping and killing 10-year-old Shakima Cabbagestalk 15 years ago. The jury, though, found Harmon guilty today of kidnapping, but not guilty of murder. News 13's Kelly Gillespie has more from the courtroom. It's been 15 years since 10-year-old Shamika Cabbage Stock went missing, but for the Harmon family, it's been three years without a son and brother. Been waiting for, for many years. Years of waiting on his brother's fate came down to the decision of a jury. Not guilty. I saw him and listened to everything and took everything at heart, but I knew my heart that God is able. Sam Harmon was accused of killing and kidnapping his 10-year-old stepdaughter. Out of all the years, I believe my heart that. My brother don't have the good to do nothing like that. The jury, however, didn't entirely agree. They found Harmon guilty of kidnapping cabbage stock and not guilty of murder. Harmon was sentenced to 12 years, but only will end up serving one. One year, sound like one day. But as the Harmon family leaves, knowing their family member will soon return, the cabbage stocks are still left wondering what happened 15 years ago to this little girl that would now be 25. In Dillon County, Kelly Gillespie, News 13.
Now, the state was hoping to get a murder conviction and a sentence of life against Harmon, but it got neither. Again, the judge sentenced Sam Harmon today to 12 years on the kidnapping conviction. Now, we're told the old code of law says Harmon has to serve only one third of his sentence. It's 12 years. And since he's already served three years, he'll spend only one year in a state. With that said, foul play is suspected in Shakima's case due to the circumstances involved. But several of her relatives believe that she is still alive. It must be noted that Shakima's remains have never been found, and there was no physical evidence to suggest that she was murdered. Plus, Sam Harmon has always maintained his innocence and said that he has nothing to do with her disappearance. So this case is still considered open and she is still considered missing. And if you have any information concerning this case, please contact the Dillon Police Department at 843-841-3707. So this is a really weird case because it's kind of solved and it's kind of not solved. Uh, I think most people believe that Sam Harmon had something to do with Shakima's disappearance. I'm sure a good amount of people believe that he hurt Shakima in some way. But we can't prove that because there is no evidence. And she could still be out there somewhere. Um, which makes this case even more interesting. But let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think about Sam Harmon? What do you think happened to Shakima? Where do you think she is now? I'd, I'd love to hear it. But that's all I have to say about this video. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all those great things. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And um, it just shows me that you guys like the content that I'm putting out. And I really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And like always, I will see you next video.